part two of the mediumship. So with the first card, which we had was trust. So this is saying that you were in a position to develop a greater sense of trust within yourself and also people that is around you, that is in large forces, that is in play in your life. And also this is saying when you honour your word to yourself and others, you will start seeing things through and remain committed to what you feel is best and what is right for you also. Personal, uh, personal transformation is you draw this card because it is a perfect time to transform a pattern in your life that keeps holding you back in some sort of way. There are times that we all feel that we need to be, uh, that we have become trapped in a cycle of our own making yet feel unable to figure out a way to get out of it. And the answer is quadri lies within you. So it is a form of one of your personality aspects. So try and ask yourself, what unwanted events or themes that keep repeating in my life then use the exercise um, of you not only going to be healing a certain pattern but to try and transform the negative personality aspects that is in a po positive version in itself as well so you need to simply yet profound process um, will help you to identify and transform the aspects of your life and keep you holding back life. So reconnecting you with the powerful and positive qualities that you may have forgotten or not even known that you actually have. Wisdom cards. So many people seem to believe that they don't have a necessary wisdom to improve their life or make a positive impact on the world. There is some self doubts and a belief that the answers are out there and can cause um, you to forget that the natural wisdom lies within all of us. Certainly a guru or a master may be wise, but only you really know yourself and you are a very wise person. So let your own wisdom guide you to the best option for you right now. Then step up and take the necessary action. When you are willing to meet the universe halfway with your intention, clear and strong miracles begin in some small will begin. And this will happen. So the universe will come to meet you face to face to help you to be the wise one at the centre of your own creation. The threshold card. So you've drawn this card because you are on the threshold of a new chapter in your life. So even it, at this stage, you are only aware of which is ending. So this card is here to try and direct your attention to a new phase that awaits you. Many people balk at the threshold, believing it will preferably cling to an old situation that is changing or that is falling away. So the threshold can even be the place from which you begin to see a silver lining in every uh, in even the darkest clouds so new doors are opening for you opportunities for new growth and new experiences are on the way so the threshold is a time for you to reconcile with yourself and your past so you can actually start moving forward The oneness card. So the concept that we are all one can be quite difficult to grasp. You have drawn this card today to help you to contemplate this truth in a down-to-earth way. Human life is filled with paradoxes and contradictions. We are both physical and spiritual beings. There are over six billion of us, all that are varying ideas, feelings, attitudes, preferences and some beliefs. Our physical bodies add to our feelings of separations. Mm -hmm. Okay, so migrated animals do not know about any borders in the sea, that the sky or on the land. 
So Poland, caught on the breeze, travels across continents without a second thought. Ocean currents move slowly around the entire planet, taking hundreds of years to do so in some cases. So we can learn from all of this. So the air you breathe is very same air that is breathed in the other side of the planet. So the earth is big and small place at the same time. So we need to think of ourselves as a global citizen. We are all one on every level imaginable. As we hurtle around the universe on this tiny planet, the need to live and work together in a harmony becomes greater day by day. And what contribution can you make to the truth of oneness today? Then we have the psychic conversation card. So many of us feelings that remain unexpressed for years or situations in our lives that have been left unresolved for quite a long time. Psychic conversation is gentle and respectful way to communicate with another person and it speaks directly to their heart and allows you to go directly to the heart of the matter. So it is an excellent time for you to have a psychic conversation by each by using a technique that you can clear up any misunderstandings, revive a friendship, deepen the level of communication, making requests and expressing very personal feelings of all kinds. So some type of conduct you can do um, on doing a psychic conversation. So to begin with, take a moment to think about who you like to communicate and why. Make sure you're seated or lying comfortably. Close your eyes and picture yourself contacting that person. Invite them to meet you at a time and place where you would feel more comfortable and relaxed. Imagine them arriving, requested and place them where you want. Visualise the whole scene playing out in your mind's eye. Use this opportunity to express all the things that you need to say to this person that you may not have been able to in the past. See them listening attentively and respectively without interrupting you. Then be very clear with them about the outcome that you want, what you would like to happen as a result of this conversation. Finally, thank them for coming in and bid them farewell. Sit quietly and notice your own feelings. A psychic conversation is not an attempt to manipulate the other person, but an opportunity to express yourself clearly after normal approaches have failed. You cannot, uh, you cannot force the other person to act against their will, but you can make yourself heard at the level beyond the ego and the mind. Remember, in the realm of subtle energies, we are all one. There are no barriers or boundaries between us, and the differences that seem to loom so large are tiny compared to the similarities that unites in all of us. Conduct your psychic conversation with conviction and love and prepare for a satisfying response. Opportunity card. So a excellent opportunity has recently come or will now come into your life. Your angels and spirit guides encourage you to welcome this opportunity with open arms if you recently recognized the opportunity in your life but have not yet embraced it you are urged to now discover so the universe is creative poetic and metaphorical place and can deliver opportunities in a very interesting way so there is things that usually perceive as an inconvenience such as your car breaking down or your train running late, that can be an awesome opportunity. So you can't leave home now without a car. What else could you be doing with this unexpected spare time? So maybe the person standing next to you on a platform at the station knows something that will be useful or important to you. They might even live near you or become a great friend. So don't wait for the universe to wrap it all up and put a bow around it, or expect it to come with an announcement. It may not be that obvious, so the more willing you are to create an opportunity out of raw materials that are in front of you every day, the more magical, the serendipitous your life will become.
the goddess card so whether you're a man or a woman your life is influenced by the goddess energies and aspects of a goddess that appear in your personality the disempowered version of the goddess shows up in your lives that is unbalanced emotion neediness depression holding on to negative situations with the inability to let go it can even show up as an excess body weight and an unhealthy relationship with food so call on the goddess presence within you now to help you to allow more of her beauty peace abundance and love into your life honor her presence in your home and have a beautiful bunch of flowers and celebrate the beauty of the goddess that's in your world life journey card so you have drawn this card today because you are at an important point in your life journey you will benefit greatly by taking time to consider where you have been where you are now and where you would like to go if you're currently feeling frustrated or stuck in any area of your life your angels and spirit guides would like to encourage you to look at this treading water period in much of a positive light so instead of feeling frustrated try blessing the plateau that you are resting on and notice all views in now affords. You view your life in the way that we have mentioned above and do the necessary consolation and preparation. Then when you are truly ready, start the next leg of your journey with one small step. Remind yourself that even though the mind may be impatient, your soul knows that you have already come a long way. The card of open us. So even when we don't realise it, many of us go through each day with a fixed expectation of how things will be or how they will turn out. Your expectations about the future, whether it be the rest of your day or the rest of your life, that plays a huge part in what you actually experience. Use your open us in all of the daily activities. Share something about yourself and your life with others. Recognise that you have no way of knowing what all possibilities are and be open to your dreams coming to fruition. Be excited as you begin each new day. Open your mind and your heart to a new world and life of endless and wonderful possibilities and also outcomes starting now today. Self-acceptance what does it really mean, you may ask, to live in a state of self-acceptance? We live in a culture that is all of obsessed of personal change and development. Everywhere you look, there are a myriad of ways and offer that can help you become better or new or more successful. How do you balance your desire for self-improvement with accepting yourself just the way you are? Self-acceptance creates a synchronicity for you that will cause people and situations in your life that are detrimental to fall in a way and bring what you really need to your attention. Accept yourself the way that you are no matter what, because you are unique, special and necessary to the workings of this entire universe. Meeting angels. So every one of us is supported by a group of angels and spirit guides. They are no exceptions, yet we usually lose our awareness of them as we grow up. All your angels have been with you since before you were physically born and help you make the transition into your earthly life. So, connecting with the angel or your spirit guide. Sit quietly, close your eyes and set your intentions to meet and connect with one of your angels or your guides. Imagine that there is a beautiful door behind you. And that very soon your lovely celestial friend will come through the door to be with you. Picture the door opening and imagine this being standing or sitting behind you or beside you. Perhaps you will notice a feeling of warmth or calm that comes into the room or feel a gentle pressing on your shoulder or your hand when they connect with you. Ask your angel or guide to reveal themselves to you. Be curious. Ask to be shown or told whether they are male or female 
a guide or an angel and what they look like and what their name is. Stay with the connection and get as much information as you can. Thank you, new friend, for making themselves known to you and commit to staying in closer contact with them. Then open up your eyes and write down whatever you can remember. If you draw this card frequently, you may need to consider developing clairvoyant skills further so that you can become a verbal channel or a medium and allow the angels and spirit guides to speak through you. From there, it may also be possible that you could be a channel for other people's angels and spirit guides also or to work with them in a capacity of being a healer. Warrior. So the energy of a warrior has become here to support and motivate you now. This is a very powerful, proactive and creative force that you can harness to help you to take important actions in your life. The warrior is wise and a loving archetype who uses this strength and energy to bring in a new generative positive action and support and protect those who are dear to them. So the warrior's way is to encourage and inspire. Today, the warrior says to you, look at how much you have done, learned and achieved in this life. Look at how far you have come. Stop comparing yourself to other people because you will never know the full story of their lives. You are a wonderful person and I am here to help you make the most of each day of your life. The warrior now stands beside you, ready to support and guide you along the next phase of your path. Past lives. The soul is eternal and most of us have lived here on earth many times before. The long evolution of a human race has been going on for well over one million years and has spanned many amazing locations and cultures, from the Maasai in Africa to the Laplanders of the Northern Arctic Circle. Experiences from our previous incarnations can still exert a powerful influence on how we deal with life today and it can cause you to have a strong preference. You've drawn this card because one of your past lives is ready to resolve itself now. This card has shown you that you need to take time to do a past life review. And you should be doing this within the next 24 hours. Peace can mean different things to all of us. Peace is synonymous with calmness, contentment serenity, acceptance and even happiness to someone who has grown up in a war-torn land. Peace may simply be the absence of fighting to someone seeking enlightenment on a spiritual path and peace may take on a more inner quality and manifest as a mind free of thoughts. Anytime in the future when you start to feel anxious, frustrated or stressed, deliberately take yourself back in memory to the walk, music or bath and reconnect with those feelings of peacefulness again in a simple way that you become a beacon of peaceful energy that flows into our world. Happiness. What is happiness and why do so many of us seem to struggle to find happiness we need and want in our lives? Some people will tell you that happiness is a birthright, something you deserve purely by virtue of being alive. Yet when I speak to the angels and spirit guides about this, they always emphasise that the happiness is actually a choice. Take a bit of time now to contemplate the things that give rise to true feelings of happiness in your heart. Take necessarily actions to include more of that in your life. Choose happy thoughts, attitudes and perspectives. Spread happiness to others and be open to receive it back. Choose happiness now and every price this day of your life. Okay, let's see who wants to connect to you.
So I've got the name of Harry. I've got the name as Forsyth. Barry. Anna. Okay. Although you may not understand it now, but everything happens for a reason. So the name is Sylvia. And then we had a carer. So either you was a carer for this person or this person was a carer. So the name of Carly. Carrie-Anne. Lily. Bertha or Betha. There is no such thing as death. There's a, is some relevance to bubbles, so either this is um, a nickname or is like a very significant bubble. So the name of Polly. They said they are learning over where they are. Had the name of Randolph come through. Believe in yourself, you can do it. Had the name of Brittany with that card. Bella, Bianca, you have nothing to feel guilty about. And we had the name of Bruce. I feel healthy and happy. And we had the name of Carrie had come through. This is a place that they just mentioned. It's pretty, pretty quick. The first letter is B and the last letter is 1. Okay, so they said, don't be afraid. And then Spirit had mentioned about butterflies. So you may, either you've encountered butterflies or you have a butterfly tattoo or something of significance. They said, I send you love in signs from nature. So yeah, butterflies on this one as well. Got the name Bertha coming through for you as well. Billy, Bobby, Matt. Mentions about someone that had a suicide. I am so much better now. Go the name of Maddie. The name of Bella Boo. Something about the booty spot. So either you have a booty spot or they have a booty spot or is a place that they used to go that is a booty spot place. Mentions about a caravan. So I've got a lot of downloads coming down. They said it's not your fault. Mentions of Kansas. So they either you or they lived in Kansas. Um, there is no time where I am. Time is only on earth. Got Brittany coming through again. Female being shown. Um, with the hair up, she's got light brown hair and she's got glasses. She possibly had braces at some point. I always give you a good night kiss. Got the name Spencer. Oops. It is beautiful where I am. Mentions of Brunswick. I am with the rest of the family. So for some do they may have passed to do with an head injury because I've got like a pressure point on the front of my forehead. So they may have died from something like blunt force trauma, something for the brain or brain injury or a hemorrhage, something to do with the, the head or brain. There's mentions about resuscitation. They said I am not dead so this soul is still living. Um, they mentioned about brute so i know brute can be a men's aftershave so maybe they used to like the brute aftershave they also mentioning about lilies so either a name or flowers so they said i have a new understanding there's new possibilities they said here as well they said that you are never alone they are always with you and had the name cindy come through here Okay, if I had only known them what I know now, I would have lived differently. They mentioned about forensics here, so there may have been issues regarding forensics during their death. Um, 
or that you were involved in forensics. You still mention an in brute. It is a Labrador that has been shown um, and also had the name of um, Theodore come through. As a soul, I can be in several places at once. I had to leave that way. I feel like that when I mentioned suicide, I think that is um, one of the was mentioning about. Any other messages for the ones that's going to see this video? My subscribers. I am helping you, they said. Also, I've also got the sensations of like wanting to be sick. Um, so maybe someone had like issues with the gullet or issues with the stomach and the head as well. For the name of Poppy. Mentions about a pit bull. Angels, guys, or guys, can you please take away these pains? Thank you. I also had um, issues breathing, like as if I, I was choking and then couldn't catch my breath. So maybe one of your loved ones have done that as well. They said we are so connected. I had the name of Julia coming through here as well. <laughs> they mentioned about Bruce Almighty, so I think either someone's name is Bruce or someone used to like watching Bruce Almighty because they even show me Jim Carrey. I wish I had told you more often how much I love you. Got the name of Carly, Rupert, Benjamin. Okay, I'm going to try and connect the cards now, okay. Although you may not understand it now, but everything happens for a reason. Okay, so I'm getting a download. So I've got the name of Poppy. So you mentioned the name Poppy, but also be showing me a Poppy. It's like being giving someone something. So I feel like they may be giving you a flower from heaven to say thank you. Like, thank you for being there. And like, there was like a carer that came through you. So maybe you were the carer of them. I believe I've got grandpa and a grandfather being mentioned here. Got the name Granville. There is no such thing as death. Okay, so I'm being shown a lot of rainbows and crosses. And also, you may see something like some name or something in the sky that looks like some names or you're going to be encountering something um something in the sand something in the sky something it's like quick look you're going to look at something that looks like you're seeing a message um so yeah try and look out for that as well for the name of stacy as well I am over here learning. So first thing that came to me straight away was victory. There's going to be a victory over this person's death. So I feel like whatever happens, victory is going to happen. And I've also got the word of solemnly, something about solemn. Mentions about Pluto as well. So I don't know if they're on about like the quote unquote um, planet or whatever it is, or actually a name Pluto. When I picked up this card, believe me, sir, if you can do it, I had the name Kaylee come through. And it's also mentioned about Braille. So either they done Braille. Um, or you do braille. It's me they mentioned something about fortune here as well.
Yeah. Okay. Um, you have nothing to feel guilty about. So something happened before they passed away that you keep playing over and over in your mind. And I feel like this has made you feel very guilty. Some of you that you couldn't be there when they passed away or you didn't have a chance to say goodbye to them. Or there was like some type of argument. And Spirit was mentioning about second chances here. Maybe you couldn't get a second chance or you wanted a second chance or something. I've got a fiancé coming through. He's also a male. He's got black hair. He's got glasses as well. I say he's in his... I got the number 36 coming through. And I got the name Andrew coming through here as well. I've got the name Bridget as well. They said, I feel healthy and happy, so I'm seeing like a grandma or a mother figure here. Very, very petite, very kind, caring, smiling. She possibly wears like pearls or some type of necklace like that. Very short grey hair. Very kind. And mentions about you could smell her perfumes. They're saying also, don't be afraid. And also when I pick this up, it's something to do with risks. There was a risk about finding out something. A risk interpreting something or risk of getting something. So possibly there's a risk of contracting something. <coughs> so maybe something also to do with like chest issues here because I'm getting a bit um a little bit chesty at the moment. And they was mentioning about focus focus you need to focus it's either to do with the car that's the focus or you need to focus on something okay so they say that they send you love in science through nature like i said it was before i even picked this card up earlier is mentions about a butterfly there's going to be a specific butterfly and they also mentioning about a pink spot so you may encounter a um, butterfly that has a pink spot on it that may be black and pink or look like a pink colour, but it may be a red colour. Got the name of Susie here and Suzanne. Michael. They said they are so much better now where they are. They feel in that ease. All the earthly issues they have is no longer there. And also seen with this card a um a bench with like a memorial bench. So maybe you have had a memorial bench and named this person and they say in thank you. They do tend to sit on it as well. So if if you or a family member goes there, they're sitting right next to you or them. They said it's not your fault, and they mentioned about something was um, there was a difficulty, difficulty understanding something here. And there's on, so they mentioned about a blaze. So I feel like there may have been some house fire here for some of you, or one of you. There was a blaze. Something just went up in flames and there was a blaze. And they saying that it's not your fault, whatever happened, you know. There's nothing no one could do about it. It just went up in flames. And they're saying there's a mention about kitchen. So there was a blaze in the kitchen here. And possibly have been um, a grandmother and children involved in this blaze. Okay. There's no time where I am. There is only time on earth. And they mentioned time is ticking. And they're showing me a clock, like constantly just looking at the time. So maybe you have issues with a clock at home, or there is you see angel numbers over and over, or there is something to do with constantly just looking at your, your watch or looking at the clock. 
um, like checking the time, like waiting for something. And I just had spirit mentioning that when if you have this thing where there is a specific time of the night where on certain time things happen or you experience things at this certain hour. They said they always give you a good night kiss and they just mentioned Bamba and Grantia and the name Terry. They said it is beautiful where I am. They they mentioned to you you're very timid. Very, very timid. Or they were very timid. Very frail, very timid. But happy. It's like they look up into the sunshine and they just breathe it in and sigh the release. Maybe this is what they'd done when they were living, like they had this big deep breath before they passed away. They had this big breath, deep in and then out, and then that's how they sadly and, you know, they moved on to the next life then. So the name is Cindy. I am with the rest of the family and I had the name of Boucher, Boucher come through with this one. And there is a, I don't know if it's a pit bull, um, pit bull, something like that. Pit bull or staff, I'm seeing, and it's like a sandy, sandy browny colour. Being shown. And they said, I am not dead, this soul is still living on. They mentioned about a sprig or something, a sprig or something. Maybe you recently been planting flowers and there is one specific flower that a sprig and they saying that they were there when this happened or when you seen this, they were there, just the confirmation. And they mentioned about the dandelion here as well. I have a new understanding and when they when that came up they was, they was on about the beach they kept mentioning about a beach Me memories about the beach they saying keep remember about the memories of the beach I had to leave that way they said someone was very gullible was mentioned about Someone mentioned gullible, they keep saying gullible, gullible, not so sure how to interpret that. Someone mentioned something to do with socks. Either this is like a name of a cat or a dog or something to do with a sock. That has some type of significance. Maybe this may have caused a fire or caused something. Because it mentions about, oh, it was so stupid. So stupid how it happened. And they say it was untimely. They said, I wish I told you more often how much I love you. So if they, to me, they say that the connection that you had with this person, it wasn't very close um, as you you would want it to have been. Um, it's like that sense of like barrier. Because something may have happened like when you were younger or something to cause a lot of issues or when you were growing up to make you both... Um, be quite far apart, but still close at the same time, if you get what I mean. Like this person wasn't very loving, 
to a certain extent like they they didn't give enough love out as much as they should have i think they feel that bit of regret they said we are so connected They said they intercept your thoughts. So when you pray, when you think of things, especially when it comes to them, they can hear it. They can hear it. They said, I am here to help you. So they are one of your guides, I feel. I feel like you can sense them when they are around you. You can sense different energies. Um, and like even if you're looking at photos of this person, I feel like you sense their energy there. Like a warmth sense sense of energy as a soul i can be in several places at once at the name of nancy grace with our they said you are never alone so don't even think about feeling as if you're alone like when you're down and depressed and feel like you haven't got anyone there you're never alone they're always with you they uh, they said they will happily carry your burdens just to see you happy but you're never alone so don't ever think you're alone pray to him if i had only known then what i know now i would have lived differently they said they would choose a better life okay let's see what spirit messages we have for you then before we close it okay we just jump right out the meat Messages for the ones that's watching this video, please. <laughs> I just had um, that song from Grease Lightning, Sandy, can't you see? I didn't sing the rest of it, but I'm positive that's off Grease Lightning. But that, that is um, one thing that's coming through. Maybe they like Grease, or you like Grease, and that's a confirmation. Okay, so you have Find Your Center. You have the name of Ellie come through here as well, and Grace. So your outside world is reflecting a manifestation of what's going on inside of you at this time. And the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you. Then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? Gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who or what is in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you will start to attract prosperity and abundance. And then we have memories. So your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. So more and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happy moments with your loved ones who are you in spirit world for neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. Okay, so we have soul solitude. So this is saying that your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and some quiet. A place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, and a time for you. For some of you, I feel like this person that you was encountering also was a smoker as well. You also have the love. So love is the foundation of your existence, and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. Soul power. So always remember that you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is a true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. Okay, so you need to learn to ground yourself. So being distracted and focused, tired, irritated and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. 
Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you to ground yourself and reconnect to the divine source. Okay, another you are not alone card. So it says we are here for you. You never left through all the sadness and loneliness. However, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. And then it says have fun. So stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the joy of it. And it's long overdue. For you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have some fun. Self-sabotage. So when you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It is that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. Okay, so we have support. So people come into your life for many different reasons. Some you learn from and they then move on while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals, others remain beside you throughout your entire life. So the name of Sadie keeps coming through here as well. And the last one then is a mother's love. So you may have your mother or a grandmother or a mother figure that is surrounding you at this time. So a mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that the special bond of love can never be broken. Okay then everyone, so that is everything that I have for you. I hope you can enjoy it and you can resonate with it. If so, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and I speak to you soon. Bye-bye.